I got some pretty good feedback from the um, the last video on cheap ways to do things, and so I thought I'd do this bit. Um, you're all coming up. Well, here it's October 11th, and uh, basically from about now on through to Christmas is silly season, and um, everybody has picnics and barbecues in Australia because it's coming on to summer. But we end up with a lot of these little plastic teaspoons left over, and plastic forks, and plastic um, knives from the picnics. So um, I just thought I'd show you one of the neat little tricks that. Like if you get, you always end up with a half a packet of these things left over, or if you really want to go and salvage them out of the bin and wash them up, because they make fantastic little uh, plant labels. So if I put San Marzano on there, I just stick it in a plant, and it costs me nothing, and they're. Uh, like a knife, it's got the blade, a fork, you've got a, a bit you can put it on, you can even stick the fork upside down and ride it on the handle if you like. But it's just one of those neat little tricks and like they're easy to rub off with your thumb, well not too difficult. And you can use them again next year if you really want to, but like next year there's, there's coming into springtime there's always going to be picnics and there's always going to be leftover cutlery. One very important thing which the show's executive producer has reminded me to tell you is that when you run, uh, when you write this stuff on here, like I'll make this one up for a, a Kumato, it does rub off and it, if you get it wet it'll just rinse off. Uh, no problem at all. So if you want it to actually stick while it's in the garden, the way I do it is I get a little bit of tape and I stick it on there and that makes it waterproof and rub off proof so you can grab it and it won't rub off. It'll stay there for quite a while now. Um, it'll last certainly as long as I want it to last, which is, I, I need a label for about a month. But um, remember to put the clear tape on it. You probably, well, if you've been watching my videos, you remember I made this bucket last year, which had a tape in the front of it and a hose fitting. And I used that for going over here and feeding into the um, the reservoir for the NFT and it saves me a lot of hassle in getting down and opening lids and stuff like that, I just run the hose in it. But when I made these buckets, like this is my parsley bucket, I've been making them with uh, 19 millimeter um, PVC or irrigation hose and the reason that I've been doing that is because this same piece of half inch hose fits perfectly into there. So if I want to drain out a bit of um, nutrients from the reservoir or mix up some nutrients, I just put it into the bucket. I can walk around all of these self-watering pots and just give them a dose straight down the pipe. Uh, I don't have to water through the top and I don't have to use a funnel. It's just one of those neat little things. And it doesn't work if you use um, 20 mil conduit, but it does work if you use 19 mil um, um, irrigation pipe. Well, I might as well show you a couple of these tomato plants too that are in the self-watering buckets. They're growing great, great guns. Um, they, they're going miles better than anything else. I bought them as seedlings uh, for my father. Um, they were about, I don't know, three inches high when I bought them. They've doubled in size in the last week. They've really taken off. Um, I'm quite impressed by Rob Bob's design of these self-watering buckets. They're, they're great. I'm using um, half cocoa coir, half potting mix in them with a bit of a stir of solid fertiliser. Um, nothing fantastic, but um, it's good enough for Dad. I've finally I've discovered, discovered how it is that people manage to walk down here and talk to the camera from all the way down here. 
without using a Lavalier microphone. Basically, I'm using my smartphone at the moment. Um, it's just doing a voice recording, which I'll synchronise on Windows Movie Maker later. Um, I can't really justify the cost of a Lavalier microphone with um, wireless on it. So, like, this is how I intend to do it from now on. But I'll probably leave the smartphone in my pocket, of course.